Hi guys, Shopper back once again with another Mint in Box. And today I'm going to be looking at the Power of the Primes, Battle Slash and Road Trap Duo. These pair are an unlikely bunch of figures that really pay homage to a G1 character called Battle Trap. And these guys are a new take on the Duocon gimmick where it was two vehicles, slot them together, they form one robot. This is building on that idea by giving them two separate vehicle modes, two separate robot modes, and then a combined form. This is running off the back of Titans Return where Combiners really made a huge, well Combiner Wars and Titans Return, where Combiners really made a huge comeback. And now we're going to have a look at the cards that come with these guys. So Battle Slash and Road Trap, they're part of Onyx Prime's little sect for some reason. Uh, Battle Slash casts his mind across space to taunt his enemies. And Road Trap casts his mind across space to steal Autobot secrets. Feels like they could do both at the same time, but they're just a, a pair of genericons that needed their own little identities. Just bring the packaging out of the way and then bring these guys forward. So, Battle Slash is a helicopter and Road Trap is a little van. We'll take a look at Battle Slash first. And it's not great, honestly. He's. he's no good. There's barely any clearance for his rotor blade. He's, he looks like he's made out of Lego. I mean, come on, pal. He's just a chunky lad. And there's not a lot to him. I mean, yeah, there's some nice details around the cockpit, but that's about your lot. And like I say, unless you've got it at a really good angle, the rotor blade isn't going to spin very much. And then we've got Road Trap. And he's a chunky one, I'll give him that, but look at this mess here. Like the front is really cool. He kind of reminds me of a um, mask vehicle, you know, Mobile Armor Strike Command. He's like, um, not the uh, black one that the one of the main Venom guys uses. It's like a weird laser command. There was like this weird late infrared laser gimmicked mask toy and one of the vehicles in the set was a van pretty much like this that's what it brings up. I think the windows were even reddish pink on that but yeah you've just got a robot torso for his back canopy and look at this I mean I know this is a highly gimmicked set of figures and I can kind of let it away but still they're not immensely good looking in this mode like yeah they'll they'll service you pretty fine but let's take a look at the robot mode and see if they improve any and here is battle slash and road trap in their robot modes let's take a look at Battle Slash for the moment, he's got his rotor blade on his arm, clearance issues striking up again, but I do like the visual of him just having this to chop down auto falls. He's got a good range of motion in his arms and legs, very nicely articulated. The detailing is all up on his chest and I don't mind it. Like, yeah, he's kind of generic looking, but I think that's kind of based on the IDW's recent sojourn into duo cons, where they're two robot guys that form one vehicle or object. Like um, Shock and Awe or Sonic Boom. Like Sonic and Boom, Shock and Awe. And then you got these guys, and I think Road Trap serves better overall, just looking at him. And these are Legends class 
guys, I mean, if I just bring in Perceptor, they are quite small. But the fact that they've been able to do so much with such a small figure is amazing. It kind of reminds me of the Power Core Combiner line. Like, this feels like an evolution of that almost. But yeah, going back to Road Trap, yeah, he's a nice stocky wide boy. He's got big old stompy boots. And if we look at his chest, he's got a nice uniform design and his face is pretty nice as well. Again, rather generic. He looks a bit like um, Pyro, but very generic. But these are, guys are meant to be generic because the real show is their combined form so i'm going to bring these out and we'll just bring them back in as a pair of trousers and an ugly blouse as you can see this is the basic setup for these guys combining you've got road trap forming the bottom half of the legs and you, you can tell he's a bit of a bottom and then you've got Battle Slash forming the torso and head with his hands coming from Battle Slash's feet. It's all very ingenious and because they're dual clones, they literally joined at the hip. Nah, 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 nah. Oi. And to complete the look, we fold down the canopy, fold up Battle, Battle Trap's head and yeah jobs a good one and this guy looks fantastic he's dead on for his g1 representation and yeah i really really dig him i think the only downside i have is that his rotor blades don't really have anywhere to go so they're kind of stuck wedged in behind here but it's a good enough storage space it's just that it's got this going on i've seen other people do it where it's just sticking out across and that's just as bad i like this solution that's i believe in the instructions i think that's what they tell you to do but yeah you've got a good range of motion thanks to battle slash's legs becoming arms road trap is a bit of a clunky mess because he's got like three let me just show you the assembly here He's got like three lots of separate unique joints and they just don't hold together as well as you'd like. But because of so many joints and whatnot, you can get a fair amount of decent posing from him, which is more than I can say for most other transformers of this scale. And because it's got 5mm ports and doesn't come with any weapons. Oh, that's no good. Let's try something else quickly. Oh, that's not going to work. There we go. Because of the little protrusion here, the, he's got some limitations on what weapons he can hold. But yeah, I really, really like this figure. He's a lot of fun. The There's a lot of drawbacks with this figure. Yes, he's a G1 callback. But in the way that they've brought this all together, it's very ambitious. I'm going to give it that. It's... A nice evolution of the Combiner Wars technology, Titans Return technology, the Power Core Combiner technology to create this really unique character who hasn't been seen at retail in decades. And they did a lot of good work here, but it's very flawed. He's the first of his kind in this new generation. And it shows, unfortunately. But those flaws are worth the frustration I kind of feel with him. 
Like, yeah, he can be fiddly and it's a bit of a ache to get him into poses. But just the way he looks is amazing. And the fact that they pulled off two vehicle modes, two robot modes, and then a combined form for a Legends class figure. That's astonishing. It's amazing, frankly. And he fits right in. I mean, if I just bring in Percy again, he's basically deluxe size. And given how pricing is going right now, you pick this guy up for maybe a tenner. Get both parts for around a tenner and you're paying for a deluxe. That's not bad. Luckily, I found the two component parts for around £8 in the entertainer. If they were like the 12 quid they're supposed to be, I would not have touched them with a barge ball. That's kind of the problem I have with Transformers nowadays. It's kind of pricing me out of collecting them. But when I saw these guys for relatively cheap, I just had to because it's such an interesting figure. It's a new thing that Transformers hasn't done in a long time, but is building on previous things they've done. And it's amazing, frankly. Let's see, oh, there goes his legs. Just, they just don't wanna, there we go, that's a bit better. Uh-huh. Check a boom. Yeah, I love Battle Trap. He's a, he's a flawed mess, but aren't we all? I highly recommend picking this guy up if you've got a desire to see the Transformers line do something new and interesting with their gimmicks. Like not just a little Prime Master things that are just Headmasters. Like this is unique and I hope to see flywheels in this way. Hell, give us the IDW characters Shock and Awe and Sonic Boom. Though we probably won't get to see them which is a shame but I could see them doing a different one of these. Hell, do Springer. You could do Springer out of this. Make him a duo con. That'd be interesting to see. There's a quick cheap repaint. That'd be cool. But yeah, highly recommend this guy, even with his flaws, it's fun, you're getting essentially three toys in one. Well, you're buying two toys, that are two toys, and then they combine into one toy. The math works out, I think. <laughs> but yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I've been Sharpo. This has been Battle Slash and Road Trap, aka Battle Trap, from the Transformers Power the Prime line. And I'll catch you guys next time on Mint in Box.